What is up, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Snap, man. Back at it again, making another video, guys. And today, as I'm showing the title, I'm going to be showing y'all how to get a project file for, you know, your launch pad. Because I've been trying to get it forever, and it's difficult. And I finally figured out a way. Because nobody no use word like, posters about it anymore. Like, how to do the project file a lot, you know? And I finally got it to work, guys. So I'm about to get into this. But anyway, I had to throw this on because it's quarantine y'all it's corona time and i ain't trying to get sick bro so i'm not going out to get my haircut i'm having bad haircut days you don't but look y'all i'm making a new channel like i'm i must stay on this channel this is gonna be my main channel but i'm, I'm making a roblox exploit channel see how big i could get because it would be way easier for me to post on there because like I do a lot of exploding on there anyways so i'm about to post a new video on it already today at the same time same day you know so two videos in one day just go subscribe you know and yeah guys i guess we're about to just get straight into the video y'all so if y'all like it if y'all want some more tutorials on how to do it you know just let me know in the comments y'all let's go all right, guys, so what y'all need to do is go on your computer, laptop, it doesn't matter. Obviously, you need a computer or laptop to play your launch pad. Open up Ableton Live. Now, guys, if you don't have Ableton Live, that's what you need for the launch pad to work or play. Or just to play project files, guys. All right, guys, so once you got it open, um, I'm going to put my camera on my launch pad real quick and show you what you need to do. So when you have it open, connect your launch pad. You could have connected before or you could connect it now, but I'm connecting it right now. You should see me trying to connect it. And when it is connected, you should see, as you can see, the rainbow. You got to see the rainbow. That's how you know. It's actually connected to your computer and you also have to see the buttons lighting up at the top. That's how you know it's connected, guys. But if y'all don't see the buttons at the top, that's okay. It's probably a reason why it's not showing at the top. And I'm going to show you right now. So you need to go to options. You need to go to preferences. Preference. I can't even say that word right. Anyways, yeah. Go there. And you got to go to link MIDI. And you got to make current surface input and output all to launch pad the launch pad you have and then once you do that look guys it's not going to work it's not going to let you pick launch pad and all that if you don't have the launch pad so you need the launch pad first all right guys so for the meaty parts you need to push the ones i push but for launch pad pro there's going to be way more and you need a different tutorial for that but i have a launch pad mark ii so this is what my tutorial is for all right, guys, so anyways, you need to go to Cascobi's site, go to his project files and get a project file that you want. Now, I recommend his old, like, 2019, 2018 project files because those are the ones that worked for me. Well, only, only, only tried Heathens because I watched a tutorial about it and it worked for me. So, yeah, guys, and then you got to go to his downloads, go to MIDI EXT, and then you have to download the latest version, y'all. And this is for the lights. This is how you go get your lights there, bro. You know you want your lights when you doing it, you know. Probably make a video. So, yeah, guys. Download the latest version. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it. I already have the project file he thinks. All right, guys. So, in Cass Kobe's thing, he made a project. I mean, launch pad projects uh, file or folder. So, he didn't lose the project. So, I made one, too. But his is outdated version. So, I had to figure this stuff out by myself. Anyways, guys. You want to go to this PC. You want to go to Documents, you want to go to Ableton, you want to go to User Library, you want to go to Presets, you want to go to Media Effects, and you want to go to Max Media Effects, and Media Extension is the folder you need to create, and then you need to put what you just downloaded inside of there, which is Media Text 3.0, guys, 
Don't worry about the other thing I have in there. Just put that in there, okay? But you need to create the MIDI extension folder inside everything I just said. If you don't know how to do that, just let me know. Or no. Go to Casco Beast thing. Anyways, this is when you go. This is when you're gonna do it like as you can see the MIDI text on Casco Beast tutorial. He made that so it could be quick access, you know. Um, that's where the lights are gonna go, but it's inside of the Ableton. Now, guys, what y'all need to do is open the project file. Now, guys, just go to the file that y'all downloaded and open the ALS. Now, once you click on it, open it, and your Ableton's all set up and stuff, it should open and it should open Ableton with it in there. All right, guys, now once y'all have it open, you have to connect the lights and you have to connect the audio and all that to, you know, the launch pad. So what y'all need to do is just follow my steps. Y'all have to click on, click on what I'm about to click on. Select the launch pad that you have on all of them. Do it on all of them or it's not gonna work, guys. Also, guys, y'all gonna need to turn on the red recording looking buttons, just like me. And then once you do that, you should see how my launch pad looks right now with the green. I mean, all the colors at the top plus the red on the side. That's mean it worked. And then sometimes, guys, your launch pad might glitch like it won't let you push user one so you could you know play the song or anything what you gotta do is unplug it but it takes time like you gotta be patient you gotta unplug it and then my computer slow i don't know if your computer fast enough but when i unplug it my i have a blue circle if you plug it in too fast it's just gonna like close your whole game like it's gonna just i mean it's gonna close your whole ableton guys and you don't want that anyways guys once it looks like this and you could click on user one just like i just did now you could play the song guys and i don't know if i should mute it but yeah guys i'ma just play a little song for y'all play a little heat and you know i'm not i'm not super good at it guys because you know i'm not a launchpad professional like that i always wanted to do stuff like that but i'm still getting used to this i'm not so like i'm not gonna know a lot of stuff about this but you know guys i'll just play for a little All right, guys, so I hope this tutorial helped y'all. I hope it works for y'all. And don't forget to check out my new channel. I'm posting a video today and working on it right now. Yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next video, y'all. Let's go.